Hey guys! Honey! I'm just... You're watching me, it's distracting me. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you what I got from Trader Joe's. And this video is made to go along... Daniel, could you stop? He's distracting me. Okay, come back and do that again. I'm gonna put it on camera. So today's video is going to be a Trader Joe's haul. I just got back from shopping. If you are new to my channel, you just hopped on today, welcome. My name is Justine and I do videos on cleaning motivation, motherhood, and also meal planning. And today's video, just so you don't get confused, goes along with my April fruits and veggies in season. Every month I do another video about what's in season for that month so that you guys get the best buys and the freshest produce. And you guys all seem to love these, so every month I also do a grocery haul and a cook with me to go along with that. So make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you won't miss out on any of those. I like to shop in season because you're getting really fresh produce, like I said, but also it helps cut your budget down and making a good clear meal plan also helps me keep things really low as well. This week's groceries only costed $88, which is really good for a family of, well, two adults, my mom and my brother are staying with us right now, and a toddler, and all this food is gonna last us the whole week, which is incredible. Another way I like to save money is by using an app called Ibotta, which basically it's a reverse couponing app where you keep your receipts from the store. Trader Joe's is on there, but most of the time I use Target and Costco. Um, they have the best deals. You pick out an item that you have purchased and you scan in your receipt that you've already purchased and you will get anywhere from like 25 cents to a dollar back depending on what it is. I, I've been doing this for about two years now and I've earned like two, over $200. I don't even know how much it is, but I've earned a ton of cash back. Once you accumulate $20, you can either trade it in for a gift card to Amazon or Starbucks or there's a lot of different options for that or you can have it sent straight to PayPal, and it's just an awesome way to get a little bit of money back and make your budget go a little bit further. Ibotta is just an incredible app, it really is. If you guys wanna try it out, I'll have that link down below. For anyone who's a new customer, they will give you $10 by using that link and I'll get five, so it's a win-win situation for everyone. So make sure you guys check out that app and download it to your phone because I have saved so much money just by using that. So now that all of that is out of the way, I'm gonna show you my menu plan for the week and then all the groceries that I got to go with that. So here's my really beautiful menu planning pad that my mom gave me. I'll have a link to that down below as well if you guys want to see it. It's on Amazon. Marcus is not napping. Um, so for dinners, we have chicken gnocchi soup, which is one of my favorite dinners to make, and it's really easy. And then we also have grilled avocado bowls, which is going to be a really yummy quinoa bowl. And fish with mango relish and quinoa honey, honey garlic chicken and rice. And then another day, I'm not doing, Marcus will probably have leftovers with grandma, but Daniel and I will be eating out on a date night on Friday. And then, oh, it looks like I switched these two. I wanted to do broccoli and sweet potato chicken bake, which is really easy and really good on this day. And then do the other one on Saturday. And then on Sunday, I have spaghetti squash spaghetti, which actually going to Trader Joe's, they do not any longer have spaghetti squash. It's out of season now. Um, so I'm gonna have to just do some other kind of spaghetti. I could have shown you guys my shopping list, but I, I threw that away and didn't even think about it. So anyways, um, if you guys, I'm gonna be doing that cook with me video, so if you guys have any preference of what recipe I share with you that night for dinner, let me know down in the comments below. Okay, so I have all of my bags out around here, and I'm just going to start with the first thing. Um, usually we try to eat pretty healthy, but on Wednesdays, we have Wednesday night church. On Saturdays, we sometimes go to church. So I just got something quick for one of those nights when we're trying to get somewhere, but I still need to get dinner on the table. So I got the mandarin orange chicken from Trader Joe's freezer section, and it's really, really yummy and easy to make. And the same this one. This is kind of my, my treat one. I wanted to try these caramel bites. They're like the Stroop waffles from Holland. Um, they're really good. My friend Hannah introduced me to these and I saw these cute bite-sized one at Trader Joe's, so I grabbed some of those. And sometimes I just need a little bit of something sweet, but I don't really want to have too much sugar, so I got these dark chocolate-covered power berries. I think they'll be really good for that time when I need a little bit of a sugar rush, but um, I don't want it to be too sugary. 
Anyways, I'll let you know what I think it is. Uh, I also got some soap and then some hair, skin, and nails supplement. These were really inexpensive at Trader Joe's. I think they were like $6, something like that. Anyways, um, I need that because I'm suffering from postpartum hair loss now. So I got gnocchi for the chicken gnocchi soup, which is so yummy. And some agave, some organic tomatoes, some organic sprouted brown rice, which is really good. We got this last week for the first time, and we really love it. Um, I'm going to just cook up this whole bag and just use it throughout the week, which is what I did last week. So it will go along with the mandarin orange chicken. We'll have it with a few other recipes too, and um, the hun the honey garlic chicken we'll have with some rice too. And it just makes it so easy to cook up a big pot and not have to worry about it again. We all love avocados, so I just got the tiny avocados. That's gonna go with the grilled avocados and quinoa. We love to have berries, so I got some blueberries. Marcus loves these medjool dates, so I get them all the time because they're a great treat for him. Um, lemons, some brown sugar, um, a cucumber to go with the grilled avocado bowls, limes, and that's it from that bag. Then I got some organic herb salad mix, um, just to have on the side of all their meals. Baby spinach to go in the chicken yoki soup. Some bananas. Some more berries, raspberries and strawberries. Mandarin oranges, Marcus loves these right now. Red quinoa. Uh, I'm just going to, again, cook up this whole pot and um, it will go with a couple other dishes. We're gonna have it with the fish, fish with mango relish. And and also in the grilled avocado bowls. Sweet potatoes um, to go with the chicken sweet potato bake, which is so good. Um, it, it's a recipe from a viewer actually, and it's really amazing. Um, organic white quinoa, some chicken breast for the chicken yoki soup, some organic drumsticks to go in the honey garlic chicken, which will be served with the rice. This is something that I'm not going to be cooking with, but I like to have this on hand because sometimes I just need it. Um, so it's the organic coconut milk. A couple chicken broths, one's for the chicken yoki soup, and then the other one is just to have on hand. I'm trying to get a little bit more of a um, food storage going, just so if I don't have time to go to the store, I'm not stuck <laughs> with nothing to eat. Um, this is for the spaghetti squash spaghetti, what was supposed to be that, but we have some um, zoodles, so zucchini noodles, um, in the fridge, and we're just gonna do it with that. And then I got another one for food storage in my pantry. Let's move some of this stuff. And I got some organic ranch dressing for a salad. And I saw a blogger, I don't know her name, but um, her first name is Courtney. She recommended the Green Goddess salad dressing, um, so I wanted to try it with the grilled avocado bowls. I thought it would be really good. Oh, and the last thing for the avocado bowls is some pomegranate seeds. Anyways, so that's the end of my grocery haul. Um, again, let me know what recipes you guys want to see down in the comments below. I hope you guys got some inspiration for your meal planning and grocery shopping. So thank you guys so much for watching, and if you like this video, please don't forget to share it, to like it, and subscribe. I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye!